In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create a flexible assembly, positional representations, and how to document those positional representations by creating overlay views. The file that we're going to utilize for this lesson is called positionalrep.iam, and it can be found in your Chapter 9 Exercise folder. As I start to analyze this assembly here, you'll notice I have two tubes, and these are of the same subassembly. It's just inserted in there twice. And right now, as you can see, I cannot drag that out. So what flexible assembly is going to allow us to do is solve for these subassemblies uniquely. To make a subassembly flexible, right click on the subassembly's name, and from the list, select on flexible, and you'll see that the icon changes to show that it's flexible. But you notice at this point I still cannot drag that subassembly out. So what I'd like to do is open up that subassembly and we're going to analyze why that is. So by expanding the extended tube file, there's an assembly constraint called tube reach. Right now it's at 50 millimeters and that's what's holding down that flexibility. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to suppress the constraint and let's go back to the main assembly. And now if I go back and drag that, you'll see that it is definitely able to move. But the second one is not. Being that the subassembly is the exact same one in there twice, what I need to do is just right click on the second instance or recurrence and make it flexible. So now if I drag that, you'll see that both tubes are able to move independently with different values. For the next portion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the flexibility for both of these subassemblies. And we'll go back and we'll make the tube a subassembly active. And what we're going to do next is we're going to create a positional representation. And we're going to do that by expanding the representations folder. And under position, I'm going to right click and then select new from the menu and when I expand that I now have an entry in here called position one I'm going to just double click in there slowly and I'm going to type in a name in this case 75 millimeters because that's what I'm going to have the first positional rep be placed at and another way to create this once one is created is I'm just going to copy it and you see in this case it's now 75 millimeter one and I'll just double click in there and change this one to 125 so you want to be descriptive. Now what I need to do, I'm going to right click on the assembly constraint that I want to edit. In this case is the tube reach. Then I'm going to select override from the menu. Now from the override object dialog box, I have my different positional representations that we've already created with the name. Now what I need to do is match up everything. In this case for the suppression, I'm going to enable it. And then I'm going to change the value as we designate it here to 75. I will apply that. And then I'm going to also designate for the 125 millimeter positional representation that it should have a value of 125. Apply that. Now let's scroll down our screen here a little bit. Now from the positional rep area, I can double click on the 75 and you'll see that the tube subassembly is changing that value of that assembly constraint to match that. Next let's go back to our main assembly and we can try that out. So if I expand the assembly one and I'll expand that representation from the position area I can say well, I want, want to see what that looks like at 75 millimeters. For the tube number tube assembly number two let's switch that to a positional representation of 125. So you can see you can go back and do different designations as needed. Now that I have this positional representation created for each of the subassemblies, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the representation folder at the top level assembly. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a positional representation up here. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to designate each of the different positional reps that I want for each subassembly. So in this case, what I'm going to do is slowly double click. Let's type in 75-75 for the first one. And I'll again copy the positional rep. And let's change the second one 
2, 125. And I'm going to minimize these subassemblies. And the last thing I need to do is tell each of these subassemblies what position to be in for those positional reps that we just created at that top level. And I'm going to right click on the subassembly name and then click override. As you can see now, I have my listing of those positional reps that we created. From the component tab, I'm going to check positional rep. And for 75 millimeter, for 75, I want this to be 75, so we're okay there. And then from the list, I want to check 75-25. And the value is already at 75, so we're okay there. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing for tube assembly 2. Right click. And then we're going to click override. And for our first 75, 75, let's change its value to 75. Apply that. And then for the 75, 125, we'll change that to 125. Apply that. In this case, cancel. Now when I go back expand my representations folder back to the position, I can go back and run through the different scenarios. So what does it look like at 75, 125, or 75, 75? I'm going to create a new drawing. And in this drawing, I'm going to create some base views. And the first base view that we're going to create will be of our tube assembly. And I will change the orientation. Let's try the left view. and I'll place it right here. And what I want to do is I want to detail out this tube assembly and I want to see what it looks like with our different positional reps. The way that we're going to do that from the drawing view panel is select overlay view. Select in the view that we're going to create this view from. Now from the overlay view dialog box change our list. In this case let's show it at 75 and OK. As you can see, it's now showing the positional representation of 75 millimeters. Another way to create the overlay view is right click the mouse while it's in that view, create view, overlay, and here let's select 125. And lastly, let's create one more drawing view, a base view, but let's base it off our positional rep, our main level assembly. And let's select a different orientation. Looks a little large. So I will designate the scale back to a half. We'll just place it in. If I zoom up on that, what I'd like to do is show, again, a different overlay view. So I'll right click, create view, overlay. And I'll just select the 7575 from the list. Now from here, you're free to go back and add annotations. So I'll just add in a couple dimensions. So let's say I want to find out what is the angle when it's at 75, 75. So lastly, I'll add a center to center distance. 